So we will start by doing uh, some imitation workout. So little, same as the junior, basically. What we want to learn is to do this move. Hand in the back, and we simulate the straight line technique. Okay, take some space and start with it. Okay, that's good, you can stand up. First details we want to make sure is when you land the skate, it has to be a little bit close, okay? Straight is acceptable, but not perfect, but never open. We want it, the best would be a little bit close. So make sure that when you land, it's a little bit close. It's quite easy in this room because we have a lot of lines, so when you land, you can look one line and you say, okay, compared to the line which is straight, will it be closed or will it be open? Let's go and focus on this. Make sure that this is closed at the landing. Okay. This is okay. Not too much outside edge in it. Yeah, not too much outside. Little bit outside edge, but not too much. Better. Okay, this is good. Very good. Okay, try to land it directly a little bit close. This is a little bit open. You have to bring this, yes, exactly. A little bit to the inside. Okay, it's okay. Okay, just start the same. Try to copy, I will give you information. So. Okay, you can stand. Second information we need to make sure is you need to find a good stability. So whatever you do, you want to look for the most stable position. Okay, you don't want to have the ankle shaking, you don't want to have the knee shaking like this or the hip shaking. You want to try to find something that is super stable to have a lot of control. Okay, let's try again. Keep the skate a little bit close at landing and make sure nothing is moving. First control the ankle, then the knee, then the hip, then the shoulders. Okay? Try to move as less as possible. Make this most simple movement. Let's go. control your knee to make something stable. Very good, that's controlling, it's nice. Take your time, move slow. Try to move super slow, like slow motion. You want to be in slow motion to get control of the movement.
Make very simple move, not shaking the ankle, not shaking the knee. Go slow, move slow, okay? Try to move slow. And when you land, make sure this is close. Okay, so this has to point it a bit inside. Exactly, okay? This is straight, so you want this compared to this to look a little bit inside. That's good. Take your time, move slow so you can control your movement. Okay, stand up. It's getting quite good. Now what we want, we want to feel the moment where we are falling inside, okay? You want to make sure that you start falling before you start to push, okay? If you start to push before falling, it will cost a lot of energy for the movement. If you start falling before the push, you almost don't need to push, okay? Try to feel this. Let's go for this feeling. Keep your hands in the back. It's very important to get more feeling about this. Make sure you're falling inside before you start your push. Try to find the right timing. Okay, you can stand up. So, when you could you try could you feel a little bit the body weight falling before the push? Okay. What's happening when you do this? Okay, you almost feel nothing in your legs as a muscular effort. But for the landing, what's happening when you do this at the moment? Okay, you are landing faster. Okay, if you're landing faster, that means you don't control enough the falling. All that means you are making a too big step. So I want you to try to feel the fall again, but I don't want to have a fast landing like this. Okay? I don't want fast landing. I still want very slow landing. So try to find a solution for having a slow landing. One solution is, I tell you one solution now, control the beginning of the fall so there is not a big acceleration. Try to control really the beginning, okay? And find some other solution too. Allez, let's go. Okay, make sure you still fall a little bit, huh? Too much control will delete the, the falling. I still want some falling. Okay, this is too brutal at the landing. Okay, you have to find something so it's landing soft. Okay? That's better. That's better. But still, I want some more fall.
Try to move slow, okay? Try to move slow. Okay, stand up. So, you could play a little bit with the timing at the beginning of the fall. It's very important that if you let it fall fast, then it's very hard to control the landing. If you can control the beginning of the fall, you will have an advantage for the landing. Now, what you have to do is to synchronize. You have to synchronize a bit the moment of the fall when you start falling with the moment your leg is coming back. Okay, so you start to fall, and at the beginning of the fall, you want your leg to start to come back. It goes really at the same time. If you are too early with your leg and the fall, you will land like this. If you are too late, it will land like this. Okay, so take your time. When your leg is at the maximum back here, start to fall and start to bring back at the same time. Okay? Try to get this fine timing. It's very subtle. It's very important in the timing, but if you get this, you will be able to remember to skate more like the bicycle style with no break in your timing. All right, let's go. Let's search for this. Don't make too big steps. Yes, that was very good. That was your best. Very good. Very good timing. That's much better timing. Yeah, that was quite good. Little too late. Little too early. So you have to find a fine timing between bring back and start falling. That's okay. Try to make a little more slow at the end. You take too much speed, I guess. Yes. The learning has to be more soft. That was a bit better. Too fast. Too fast. You have to start bringing your leg a little earlier. Way too fast. Still too fast. Take more time. Search for a good stability. I remember at the beginning we speak about stability. You want to be very stable all the time. Okay, stand up. Now we had one little more. That's quite good. It's going quite good. Maybe sometime a little bit like, a little bit too fast, but it's much better. When you skate, you have to try to look for this feeling still. Fall and bring the leg at the same time. To get the smooth timing, it goes together. During the moment you bring back your skates, you have to try to make your, you have to try to make the leg a little bit look inside. You push, bring this up, Okay, especially you here, it's important. Bring this up and then a little bit inside, okay? So when you bring back your legs, you want already to have the toes up and inside, so it's ready to land. Okay, quite hard to control for the brain this. Toes a little bit up, little bit inside, so it's ready to land. Let's try. Yes, very good. Much better. That's better at this. If you have time to think of this with your ankle, it's a movement in the ankle. Bring the toes a little bit up, little the toes a little bit up and a little bit inside. It will prepare your landing. Take more time, you're landing too fast. Okay, a little better this one. 
Take more time. Move slow so you can get more stability. Okay, sinking, a little more sinking in your ankle to prepare the landing. Bring the up and inside. Try to make a smaller step. Maybe a smaller step. Yes, that would be. That's more soft in the landing. I like this one. Okay, good. Can you tell again? Second. Okay, so you have to put your lot of your brain into your ankle to give an extra stability. Try to do the same, okay? Okay, stand up. Okay, it's a lot of information. Huh? We have only one session like this, so I give you a lot of information. I know you cannot remember everything at the same time, but later on, you can walk this whenever you want. Normally, you shouldn't be it's only make your brain tired, okay? Your muscles shouldn't be tired from this. So you can repeat this a lot to make your brain ready to control your body, okay? It's, it it requires a lot of uh, time and practice for this. So, but it doesn't take a lot of physical energy. So we repeat again. We, do the we take a good position. We land the skate a little bit close to the inside. We search for stability, okay? Then we search for using the body weight. Then we search the good timing between the fall of the body weight and the comeback of the other leg. We search for a soft landing at this moment. And what was the last one? <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, we, during the comeback of the leg, you try to bring the foot a little bit up, little to the inside. Okay, you do one more session, you focus on what you need. You decide yourself what is your priority and you work on it. Let's go. Maybe 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Focus on what you think is very important for you. Okay, stop. Okay, what was your main focus? The return, okay. Timing. The? Timing. Timing. Yeah, the toes uh, up. up. Okay, good. The what? Timing. Timing. Don't fall fast. Don't fall fast, okay. Falling, controlling the falling or just falling? <laughs> Stability. Stability, good. Okay, good. Stability. Fall slow. Fall slow. Fall slow. Timing, timing, stability, stability also, timing, fall slow. Okay, that's good. Remember a lot of information. At the beginning, focus on one, work on it for long, then change, and at the end, you will be able to switch from one to another as soon as you detect. Okay, this could be better. My landing was not good. I will make a better landing here. Oh, I forget to close, so I will close better in the next step. It's more, I fall too fast. 
This is how it goes after in your brain. At beginning, don't do like this. At beginning, focus on one and make it good. Then switch to another one, make it good. Switch to another one, make it good. And at the end, try to change fast from one to another. Okay? Thank <laughs> you.